It's time for another great moment in Florida State football history with former Seminoles Burt Reynolds and Vic Frenzy. Well, let's go back to 1980, Florida State, Florida. Great ball game. Very difficult situation for Florida State. That's, of course, remember correctly, the Seminoles were ranked in the top ten that year. Yeah, uh, they wanted to be on tel national television. Wanted to be on national and television. In order to be on national television, uh, they had to have a buy, as it's called, right? Uh, or an open date. Open date. Uh, for four weeks, which is a long time to, uh, to work on one... <laughs> your passing game or your running game. game. I mean, uh, especially when you're, you, the guys are all up, uh, they sort of time it. You know, you, you get down in that schedule where you really are, you, you've got everything, the adrenaline, everything's pumping six to seven days later after the, the game, and suddenly it's four weeks before you're going to play a football game. Four weeks for that ball game, Bert, that long layoff, plus the fact that the Seminoles had already been selected for the Orange Bowl. And they were playing against a fighting Gator team that, uh, they won too many ball games that year. It was Charlie Pell's first season. Yeah, uh, Charlie Char Char Pell uh, is quoted as saying that uh, I've never been so happy uh, uh, to see a graduating class graduate. As a matter of fact, he talked about coming to the graduation. He was so happy to see two great linebackers graduate. Uh, That's Ron Simmons. Uh, Ron Simmons. Uh, Paul Porowski. Paul Porowski, who, who is a great football Richard player. Herring. Richard Herring. Uh, a couple of uh, terrific running backs. Uh, one of my favorite running backs, as you know. Right, uh, Ricky wins, but Ricky Rick was just coming on. Sam Platt, that was Sam's last year. Sam, Sam Platt was the, was the noted runner uh, right. of, the, of the team. Uh, he got hurt. Yeah, and he got hurt, and so we needed Ricky then. In the he second half did. a lot. Certainly did, because the Gators that year went out 13-0 uh, in the first half. Leading us. First time yeah. we had the summer. Yeah, and the, the, the Florida fans went crazy because uh, they thought uh, that was going to be it. The time was coming. They hadn't beaten, at that time, they had not beaten the Seminoles uh, in three years. But with a score of 13 and up, and the Seminoles had to come out that second half, we'll be embarrassed because they were going to the Orange Bowl. They were playing, like I say, a Gator team that I think it only won uh, maybe one ball game that year. But uh, with Sam flat out, it didn't look good. And your man, uh, Ricky Williams, came back and got the job done. The important thing is uh, it was the last time that we beat the Gators. Well, Bert, maybe this year. Maybe 1985 would be the year the Seminoles come back. But 1980, as we talked about, the last time the Seminoles beat the Gators. The score... 17-13. Join us again next week for another great moment in Florida State football with Burt Reynolds and Vic Frenzy. All the excitement of Florida State football is available. Uphold the UPI.